Hey everyone, it's Zach with Permaculture Solutions. Today I want to show you this rain garden demonstration that was set up in my hometown here in Oklahoma. Um, basically, here it is, right here. Um, this is a rain garden demonstration, like I said, and it's mainly used for Monarch Butterfly Way Station, but it's really, I've never seen any Monarchs here. I come down here all the time and I never see any Monarchs here, but um, I do see tons of native pollinators, so it's really good for that, and it's cool how they're sort of catching rainwater. But if you look around, uh, we got basketball court there. All this is just boring land. I mean, it's just baseball fields all around, you know, classic like small town baseball fields. And in the middle of this roundabout here, you've got this, this rain garden demonstration. So they kind of did a good job initially installing it somewhat, but um, they haven't really maintained it, but there's still a lot of wildflowers seeding themselves. This is all seeding themselves mainly. So you've got uh, black-eyed Susan there. That's a native flower here in Oklahoma. Um, there's all kinds of flowers. These, I'm not sure. I want to say like Indian, um, no, they're not that. I was going to say Indian paintbrush, but that's not it. I'm not sure what those are, but there is Indian paintbrush here. And there, there's a lot of flowers in here, but I just wanted to show you this. All the runoff from these streets actually comes in here and soaks in the ground, but they do have drains, which is kind of, you know, defeats the purpose a little bit. But when we get rains, it does all, this whole thing will fill up and then the water will just seep into the ground slowly. So that is pretty cool. I just basically wanted to show you guys this, um, a project with uh, street water runoff that is uh, actually being utilized and one example of that anyway, and how permaculture ideas are becoming more mainstream as well. All right, that's all I've got for this video. One thing I forgot to mention that's um, really cool is that this is actually one of our hottest seasons of the year, July. And so we get temperatures on average over 100 every day. I mean, typically it's 100, 102, you know, with the heat index of 105 to 110. So really hot temperatures, no rain. Um, but this is still, you know, you've still got a pretty good amount of flowers here and growth going on which is cool and I think that's in part of course because of the rain garden um, aspect of it but yeah that's all I've got for now if you like this video please subscribe and I'll see you next time thanks